treasure hunting like Indiana Jones does seem a little dangerous. Still doesn't really feel real. But what if the quest was controlled in a more modern, less booby-trapped kind of way? It still feels like a dream. The Johnson family will tell you it can be quite rewarding after just unearthing this chest of $25,000 cash and winning this year's Utah treasure hunt. So I kind of work on it a bunch, and obsess over it a bunch, and then just... I'd have to take a break. The search for the fifth annual Utah treasure hunt started on June 15th with this hint being posted online and then a whole lot more in the preceding weeks. We are going to bury this chest. Wait, wait, wait. Not bury it. <laughs> now who just gives away thousands of dollars every year? That would be real estate investors David Klein and John Maxim who grew up loving Indiana Jones and the Goonies. They wanted to start something to get people excited back in 2020, you know, when a lot of us were bored. The very first year, it was just because we wanted to do something rad, you know, um, but it's turned into this thing now that is just way deeper than that. We are embarking on a, tra on a journey. Four years later, the hunt has become so popular in Utah, there are even podcasts who bring you along on their exploration. And that should make David and John understandably happy since... If this thing's an invisible ink, how do we look at it? Planning these intricate treasure hunts must be exhausting. The poems take a couple months just to write. We're trying to fool 40,000 people who have access to the internet and AI. Well, this year's search covered a lot of ground around Salt Lake City, but for Damon Johnson, figuring it out came down to a single rock. I saw the rock and it was kind of a, a different angle. But what does he plan to do with the booty? I'm going to finish my degree, go back to school shopping today. That'll be the, the first thing we spend it on. By the way, they actually now host two treasure hunts a year, and Dave and John say plenty of people outside Utah do participate. You just got to sign up for those Utah treasure hunt emails, and then one day this fall, a quest will sail the seven seas into your inbox. Hear me out. You and Andrew go look for treasure. Can we use one of those... You know. I'll Metal stay here and hold down the fort. Yes, you guys. They said the cache was a little uh, moldy that had been sitting what? in that chest for two months and it rained and stuff. Oh, you can still use it though. I think so. Just like okay. don't smell it. <laughs>